How's it going, everybody? It's Warren, and today marks only two more weeks until Avengers Endgame hits theaters. And the closer we get to the movie, the more we get for it. We have magazine articles coming out, posters coming out. It seems like we get new footage at least once a week at this point as well. And today I'm going to be talking about an entire Avengers Endgame plot leak. And this one is very different than all of the other ones that we've heard so far. All of the other ones that I've heard are sort of just based off of the information that is already given to us by Marvel from the trailers and from photos. But as always, I'll give my normal disclaimer, there's really no way to tell if this plot leak is real or not. But this one does seem to be more legit than all the other ones I've heard, so in case it ends up being true, spoiler alert. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to Avengers Endgame, and I also do monthly giveaways, right now giving away a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet and a Thanos painting by Glow by Bow. If you'd like to enter for your chance to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts on your favorite superhero or villain. So this plot leak comes from a French Redditor who says he saw the movie two months ago before it was even done with its editing. So the editing wasn't done, the CGI wasn't done, and the music score wasn't done yet. And the user also said that there was no post credit scene shown. So again, this was a French Redditor who posted this on Reddit and then it was translated into English. So if some things sound a tiny bit off, it's most likely due to a translation error. So I'll go ahead and read the plot leak line by line, but again, this is for the full movie, so this is your last chance to leave if you want to avoid all possible spoilers. The movie opens on Thanos. He is on Titan 2, and he's very happy that he performed the snap. It then flashes to Tony Stark stranded in space. Nebula walks in and says that they're running out of oxygen fast. Tony records his message to Pepper Potts, and then after he's done, he gets a sudden burst of inspiration, and he begins to try and fix the ship so he can make it back home. Right after this, the title card with the Avengers logo comes on. Back at Earth at the Avengers headquarters, Banner, Cap, Nat, and Rhodey are talking about Thanos when they hear a knock on the door. It's Agent Klein from S.H.I.E.L.D. with Nick Fury's pager. He gives them the pager and tells them that Nick Fury is gone. Banner then takes it and analyzes it, finding that it's sending a signal but it's losing power. Nat and Cap go and have a talk about everything, and then Steve and Rhodey go to a Snap support group. Banner and Nat talk about the Hulk. Banner once again tries to bring the Hulk out, but the Hulk again refuses. Captain Marvel eventually shows up at the Avengers headquarters asking where is Fury. The Avengers at the headquarters fill her in on everything that has happened with Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet. Tony Stark and Nebula manage to fix the ship and get to the nearest jump point that takes them back to Earth. There's a tiny reunion with the Avengers and Tony Stark and Pepper Potts, but it's short-lived because Tony Stark needs medical attention. All the Avengers except for Bruce and Tony start talking about what they can do. Nebula says that she knows where Thanos is, and then Rocket pinpoints an energy source that matches the Infinity Gauntlet. The Avengers go to Thanos to fight him, but are easily defeated. Thanos holds Captain Marvel by the neck, but Thor saves her. She is depowered a lot. Thor uses Stormbreaker to bring them back to Earth where Banner is treating Tony. Banner goes over to a weakened Captain Marvel and asks to scan her and she agrees. Tony and Banner look at the results and are stunned by it. They decide that they need to try and copy the Infinity Stones but realize they don't have the technology to do it. Tony and Pepper leave, Captain Marvel goes with Thor to find his people, and Rocket stays with Banner trying to find a way to time travel. There's a time jump forward, and eventually Ant-Man comes out of the Quantum Realm and goes to the Avengers headquarters and explains to the Avengers about the time vortexes. With some time passing, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, and Ant-Man figure out how to time travel. They've also figured out a way how to copy the power of the Infinity Stones. And Tony begins to work on a new Infinity Gauntlet that would be capable of harnessing all of the power of the Infinity Stones. They decide that they just can't go back in time to take the Infinity Stones because the effects of altering the past could drastically change the future too much. So, the Avengers go back in time to copy the Infinity Stones from each place they remember having seen them. Nebula tells the Avengers about the Soul Stone on Vormir, but she tells them that they need to get ready to lose someone they love. Captain America says no because they've lost too many already. So, they make a plan to go and fight past Thanos on Vormir. Banner, Tony, Thor, and Captain America go to fight past Thanos, and Thor nearly defeats Thanos, but then Thanos uses the Power Stone on him. Tony uses a new device from his new Iron Man suit that stuns Thanos for a minute so that Banner can copy the stone. He does, and they get out of there. Meanwhile, present Thanos finds out about their plan and he goes to the Avengers headquarters. When the Avengers are exiting the Quantum Realm, he is there waiting with his Outriders. Thanos is enraged and he starts his attack. Thor and Captain Marvel defend the Stark Gauntlet with everything they have. During this attack, Bruce Banner finally becomes the Hulk and he goes for Thanos. Thanos uses the Mind Stone on the Hulk and tries to make him turn on the Avengers, but the Mind Stone ends up merging the two and the Hulk attacks him. Thanos and the Hulk go at it, and Thanos almost defeats the Hulk, but Thor jumps in to help. 
The rest of the Avengers jump in and attack Thanos as well, but Thanos uses the Infinity Gauntlet to defeat the Avengers and to destroy Stark's Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos then stomps on the Avengers logo and gives them a speech on why he did the snap. But in the middle of Thanos' speech, War Machine blasts him with a proton cannon and then Thanos uses the Space Stone to retreat. Tony realizes that his Infinity Gauntlet is now destroyed, but Hawkeye says that he has tracked down some Uru metal. Hawkeye tells the Avengers where it is, so they go to where it is, defeat some arms dealers who have it, and take the Uru medal for themselves. Tony takes the medal back to the Avengers headquarters and forges a new Infinity Gauntlet. The Hulk wields it and uses it to bring all of the fallen heroes back, but loses his arm in the process. Tony builds Hulk a new arm and tells them all that they must go fight Thanos whatever the cost, whatever it takes. Doctor Strange teleports them all to where Thanos is and then it's everybody versus Thanos. Thanos, using the Infinity Gauntlet, still manages to hold everybody off. But then Thor, using Stormbreaker, manages to cut off Thanos' arm. Captain America runs to it, grabs it, puts it on, and then teleports Thanos somewhere before the Infinity Gauntlet's power kills him. The movie ends with Captain America's funeral, and Tony gives a speech there. After the funeral, Tony hands Bucky Captain America's shield, and Bucky takes on the mantle of Captain America. Hawkeye finally retires and he leaves with his family, leaving his bow behind. Thor goes to rule over his remaining Asgardians in Norway. Bruce Banner says that he needs to leave to find more about his new powers being merged with the Hulk now. Black Widow leaves saying that she has some unfinished business to attend to and Captain Marvel will assemble the rest of the heroes. Doctor Strange is left with the Infinity Gauntlet and takes it back to the Sanctum Sanctorum. So that is the Avengers Endgame full plot leak. Again, there's no way to tell if this is legitimate or not, but it does have a lot of points that make a lot of sense. The beginning makes a lot of sense and it lines up with the trailers that we've already seen. Captain Marvel showing up to the Avengers headquarters, Nebula and Tony making it back to Earth, and the Avengers going to fight Thanos. One thing that makes a lot of sense and that actually answers a question that a lot of people have been asking is that Agent Klein shows up with Nick Fury's pager. Everyone has been wondering how exactly the Avengers get Nick Fury's pager in the post credit scene of Captain Marvel. Well, Klein is one of Nick Fury's most trusted agents and he is mentioned in the post credit scene of Avengers Infinity War. So it would make sense that he would track down Nick Fury's SUV and find the pager lying on the ground right in front of it. And if the pager is something that Nick Fury would carry around with him all the time, Klein would at least know that the pager belonged to him, even if he didn't know what the pager was for. Also, the fight with Thanos in the beginning of the movie makes a lot of sense as well and adds up with what we know. We have the scene in the trailer where all of the Avengers are in the Benatar flying to go fight Thanos, all except for Banner and Tony. And it would make sense that Thanos severely injures Captain Marvel. In the footage that we've seen, Captain Marvel seems very confident that she can defeat Thanos. But of course, this is Thanos we're talking about with a fully functioning Infinity Gauntlet with all of the Infinity Stones. It doesn't matter who you are, you're not going to defeat Thanos when he has the Infinity Gauntlet with all of the Infinity Stones. And this is going to show that the Avengers cannot just defeat Thanos, and this is why the need for time travel comes in. The time jump also makes sense as well, primarily because we see Natasha's hair be blonde in some of the scenes in the trailers and then red in the others. So it makes sense that some time passes by and then Ant-Man pops out of the quantum realm and explains time travel to the Avengers. I've also heard from a few other plot leaks that the Avengers will somehow manage to make copies of the Infinity Stones. So this lines up with the other plot leaks and it also makes sense because if the Avengers go back in time and alter the events, the future is going to be drastically altered as well and severely devastating things could happen like Wanda and Quicksilver never getting their powers and never being in Avengers Age of Ultron and Vision never coming to life as well. The final battle also makes a lot of sense as well because we've heard from the actors themselves that there is going to be a huge battle with over 25 heroes in it. And I think everybody also expects the fallen Avengers and heroes to come back as well and fight Thanos at the end of the movie. Captain America dying kind of adds up with everybody's speculation that at least one of the main heroes is going to die. And sadly, it is most likely going to be Captain America because Tony has Pepper and they're supposed to get married and Disney will most likely let that happen. So sadly, it does seem like Captain America is going to be the one to go, of course, saving everybody else. And then Doctor Strange taking the Infinity Gauntlet and the Infinity Stones at the end of the movie could set up Infinity Watch and the Illuminati. So I'm definitely all for that happening at the end of Avengers Endgame. So again, there are a lot of things that make sense and line up with other plot leaks and the trailers that we've gotten, but of course, there's no way to know if this is 100% legitimate or not. But let me know what you all think about this new plot leak. What do you think from this plot leak is going to happen in Avengers Endgame? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. 
And again, a reminder about my giveaway, I'm giving away a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet and a glow-in-the-dark painting by Glowbybo. You can check out his work at glowbybo.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to Avengers Endgame and all things Marvel. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.